You ever have one of those farts where you're like, damn, maybe I shit myself? Yeah. Welcome back to Couch Potato. <laughs> All right. Uh, when are we doing the actual intro? Is that a now? Welcome back to Couch Potatoes. Oh my god, you did a little intro. Like, you... In, you Good job. <laughs> All right, so we did a little mining off camera, which is to say we didn't do anything. But Ryan here has played a lot by himself <laughs> in a different save file, uh, in a different house, in a different console. But uh, dude, there's a dedicated flashlight button. There's a flashlight. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> what? Um. So are you not? I, I can't do the thing again, James. What? The, 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 the oh. guard! Here, here. <laughs> there, there, there's little clicky clues on the back. Uh, well, go to the... Test it with the... the. I don't know how to play this fucking game. Fair. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Oh, thank God, dude. I cannot tell you how much it was bothering me <laughs> when we left last time. I don't want to be a stickler. Bro, bro, call me... Call me Adolf Stickler? F dude, you, you <laughs> jumped to the conclusion of my joke, and I'm really <laughs> sad. I was going to say, call me, call me a German sucker for rules, because I'd be Adolf Stickler. <laughs> Oh shit, I almost just punched, the, like, water. Oh, this is soda. Um, <laughs> Save me from these horrible colors, honey. They moved into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read the email? Ryan, I'm sorry. I'm so... That's your punishment. I'm so happy that you offered to... I'm dyslexic and this is far away. Offered to help me with house flipping. I hope your offer is still valid. You wouldn't say no to such a wonderful person like me, right? <laughs> uh, here's the here's deal. The deal. <laughs> here's the deal. About a month ago, I moved to my cousin's house. She is, I'm sorry to say, an artist. Her uh, her autistic soul commands her to live in a house that looks like a Christmas tree. OMG, really? Because the wall colors hurt my eyes. Cry. Wait. Because the wall colors hurt. Because of the. Because the wall colors hurt my eyes. Cry so much. What the fuck is that sentence? That I can't stand the look of them. Oh, I'm so angry that I'm afraid that <coughs> the sour look on my face will give me wrinkles. It would be terrible. We have to do something with it, and you, my sweetie, have to help me with it. You need to repaint all the walls with normal colors before my cousin returns from the gallery. Toned and quiet colors will be awesome. You know what I like. Thank you for everything. And remember to hurry. Loves and kisses. Medical Band-Aid. <laughs> it's just a guy that did this whole thing. That was a guy? Yep, it's Michael Brand. That was not a guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but your husband is gay. I'm so <laughs> OMG, my wife painted our house like a Christmas tree. Time to suck a dude. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Mine. That's it. Uh, th I don't get paid in money. Just give me a couple weeds and we're good. Hell yeah, brother. I still got my flashlight on. <laughs> this is even like a bad color to have your house. Yeah, but now we're getting to this color. <laughs> I would almost call this a downgrade. You should just paint every other line green. <laughs> so it's actually Christmas. <laughs> I do like the way that you just <laughs> when you go paint, you just go over like five walls. I wonder how long it took to make this game. It looks like I feel mean saying this, but it looks like one of those games that like 
wasn't made with the intention of being super good. But it seems really good, and it seems fun. And it was fun enough that it got a second one. So, did you just paint two walls at once? Yeah. How did you do that? It's one of my perks I've had. Wait, really? Yeah. On my game at home, I have it so I can paint four at the same time. Jesus. <laughs> I pretty much maxed out the painting and stuff. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing that you could do. I have never actually watched you play this game until now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so hypotheticals. Yeah. Uh, oh god. All right. Let's let's boot up ChatGPT for this one. I can't make my own content after all. Do you think? It, do you think people would give me flack for using ChatGPT just for hypotheticals? I don't see why. All right. Um. I'm, you know what? I'm just not going to give it any context. I want you to give me a really fucked up hypothetical where I have to make a hard Dick. but bad choice. Oh. I, 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 this is the first time I, I got a fucking it. dungeon down here. This is, this is the first time I'm ever reading this. Are you ready, Ryan? Okay. Imagine you are a highly skilled surgeon. One day, two patients arrive at the hospital in critical, critical condition due to a severe accident. <laughs> These aren't the hypotheticals that I want. <laughs> Both pa patients require immediate surgery. But there's only time and enough time and resources to save one. The first patient is a 30-year-old single mother of three young children. She Killer. works two jobs to support... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the second patient is a 45-year-old, the leading scientist who's on the verge of a breakthrough cure for a widespread, deadly disease. His work could save millions of lives in the future. It's a guy, so that one. Um, Hell yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe I'm a sociopath, but the options are um, a woman who works two jobs to support her kids, or... A man who will save the world with, like, yeah, literally, his work will save millions of lives in the future. <laughs> Sorry, mom, you're about to have orphans. <laughs> oh, she ain't about to have shit. No, oh, yeah, she ain't about to have shit. I right, um, do another, but make it funny in a dark way. Ha <laughs> ha. That's actually that's exactly what I said. You're the captain of a spaceship on a deep space mission, and your crew consists of the galaxy's finest, but quirkiest beings. <laughs> <laughs> One day, the ship's AI malfunctions and announces due to critical error, and the life support will only have enough power to sustain one more person. Alright. Well, I already know what you're going to choose. You have to choose between these three, okay? A talking cat who claims to know the secrets of the universe and mostly just demands belly rubs and spouts conspiracy theories. A clumsy alien who's the ship's only mechanic, but every time they fix something, they make it worse in a hilariously catastrophic way. Keep in mind, you're dying in the next 24 hours. Uh, a, a sentient plant that constantly complains about needing sunlight and water, but somehow manages to be the ship's moral compass. Who are you saving? So the only good option is the cat. <laughs> <laughs> but the alien makes everything worse. Uh, and the plant doesn't do a whole lot either. Uh, I, I literally just said, I choose the cat. Another! <laughs> All right. Jester, give me another give hypothetical. Jester, produce! All right, um, produce. I just ordered him to fuck. All right, imagine produce! You're... And then reproduce! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. So... You're the mayor. You're the mayor of a town, right? Um, a curse. One day, a curse falls on the town. You have to choose between two curses. Kay. So everyone is transformed into sentient talking lawn, lawn gnomes, right? Okay. Um, they they retain their personalities and memories, but they're They have tiny ceramic immobile bodies. The town will look whimsically charming. But every conversation will be a high-pitched lament about being unable to move. Or, 
town is overrun by an army of hyper intelligent squirrels who take over all government and public services. Oh, squirrels all day. They implement efficient but incredibly nut centric policies. <laughs> the town runs smoothly, but I right, hold on. Give me some nut centric policies. I want to know. Give me some nut centric policies. All right. <laughs> Sorry, the first two words it produced before stopping for three entire seconds was nut tax. <laughs> God dang, can't even nut without being taxed anymore. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. Uh, give, give me a really dumb, not well thought out one. Something, something like, what if you woke up, woke up one day, and your head was twice as big? I want to see if it if it does anything with those. All right, All right What would you do hypothetically? All right, what would you do if you're uh, if you're one day you woke up and your hands were replaced with rubber chickens? Well, I feel like the only possible choice is you have to choke the chicken. It would <laughs> just see how far you can get with rubber chicken in. Listen, oh, God! Li <laughs> Listen, do they still got a mouth? <laughs> All right, I'm going to regenerate. Right. Am I thoroughly disappointed? Yes. You? Why does it... Why does it keep replacing my hands? All right, what if your hands were pool floaties? Does that change your answer at all? You gotta stroke the noodle. All right, well, all right, let's see. What would you do if one day you woke up and everyone had spaghetti for hair? It's dinner time, baby. <laughs> oh, it needs to be trim style to maintain. Would you just, like... I feel like I just take a bite out of someone's hair. Listen, world hunger would be over. You're kind of right, actually. Alright, uh, what if... <laughs> That's a funny one! Ryan, what'd you, do? <laughs> what'd you do if you woke up one day and your teeth were just twice as big? <laughs> I'd be British, apparently. <laughs> Every time you open your mouth, it looks like you have a, <laughs> you have a mouthful of oversized piano keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, talking becomes uh, talking becomes a challenge. Yeah, I would imagine every bite turning into a slapstick routine. What would you do if, if you had piano teeth? <laughs> Probably kill myself. All right, what would you do? <laughs> what would you do if you got in a fight with someone? Right, you go to you go to a bar. This is me now because the hypotheticals are fucking stupid. <laughs> So imagine, you know, you go to a bar, you're having a couple drinks, you're having a great time, and this guy, he's like, hey, I saw you looking saucy at my wife. And he's, you know, he's like, put him there, you know. And he, you know, you end up, uh, you end up punching him in the head, right? Okay. And you punch him in the head really hard and it hurts. It hurts him, <laughs> not you. Uh, and you, <laughs> you end up knocking him to the floor and... His teeth literally, like, you know, like in cartoons, how, like, they turn into pianos and then, like, they fall out? He, it literally does that. What would you do? Uh. Like, everyone's looking around screaming. They're like, oh, my God! How did you, you just knocked all his fucking teeth out? Those aren't even teeth anymore! Wait, what, wait, so was I looking at his wife or was he looking at my wife? He was. You you were accused whether or not you were I mean I'll let you decide that but you were accused of looking all saucy at his wife uh. so but you punched him because he wanted to fight you and you literally knocked his teeth out and they literally turned into piano keys and you didn't know that this would happen like like you you are just as shocked as everyone else initially <laughs> but what, what do you do you literally tune forced this man uh. I suppose I will look at this man on the ground and go, I, Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I don't much like your tone, bitch. Please go a hospital. And then curb stomp him. <laughs> All right, so you, you, you curb stomp him, right? And even though that stomp should have killed him, he, like, he like does, like, the, uh, like, the head, like, to where he's, he all burns form around his head. 
like they just like like appear, and everyone's looking at you in horror. They're like, "Oh my god, how is he doing this?" All right, what do you do? <laughs> so they think I'm some kind of super wizard. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, you can assume that at this point. How fast does talk spread through the town? How fast is talk? Everyone in the world knows. That. No, I would say everyone in the bar knows, and it's like a couple of people ran out and s screaming about it. Yeah, at that point, you just gotta rob everyone. And be like, dude, you gotta give me your money, or else you're gonna look like this guy. You're, no, get, I, get, get, get there. I am going to cast tungsten balls on you. <laughs> Do you say that? Yeah. The nearest person falls through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he just hear, ah! Listen, he, he didn't listen. <laughs> he didn't even do anything. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't have any time to do anything. He didn't give me his money. <laughs> he didn't, he, 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 I like how my first thought was, yeah, let's rob everyone. <laughs> I feel like that's, uh, no one will admit this, but that's always like some, like one of the first thoughts you have. Like your first thought can be something good, sure. But it's like, what would you do if you had superpowers? Eventually it's like, what crime can I commit? Yeah. And if you, if you just get away with. <laughs> yeah, and get away with. God, there, like, there are some weird fucking people with like powers. All right, if you could have any superpower, what would you have and why? Hmm, what would you pick? I uh, choose invisibility so I can watch girls pee. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard to say that with a straight face. <laughs> I was not prepared. <laughs> it was your... You gave me a look of what the fuck right before you started laughing and I couldn't hold it. <laughs> That's not my answer, by the way. I feel like I should stay. I would hope so. <laughs> I'd be shape shifting so I could turn into a toilet to watch girls pee. What's your power? <laughs> you know, I'll take the power to just. The power to be able to choose one power at will to have. No, that's a stupid <laughs> answer. I hate I I hate people like you. <laughs> Is it because I'm white? Yes. Uh. So speaking of peeing, I just remembered one of my favorite jokes. Oh, I forgot what's in this one. Oh, uh, I have no idea what's in this one, so I'm excited. It's not great. Oh, cock. <laughs> I remembered a, uh, one of my favorite stupid jokes. <laughs> you want to get rid of him? Did you just pick him up? <laughs> no! <laughs> Dude, if they don't pay you, you just dump this in their pillow. <laughs> yeah. You destroyed the cockroach nest? Oh, nice. There's six of them in this room. <laughs> but I think fucking Danny of Game Grumps said this. It was, uh... What's the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? <laughs> I wouldn't pay for a garbanzo. I wouldn't pay three hundred dollars for a garbanzo bean, bean on, on me. My face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes me laugh that like bean is being used as a verb. I wouldn't want a garbanzo bean on my face. <laughs> Holy shit! This is this is what my room looks like. If, if you guys ever wanted to know. Actually, I think my room's... I, my room's not that bad. I think this is one of the worst that my that my room has looked. But... Dude, look how much alcohol they just... Yeah, what the fuck? I hear them. Where are they? That's a little scary. To your left? It sounds like sizzling bacon. There they are. You stole his garbage can! <laughs> Alright, um... You know what? What if I? I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a hypothetical. All right, what would you do if your wife's foot was twice as big as normal one day? Look how much alcohol they just have lying around. <laughs> Sorry, I, it's just what'd you do if your wife's foot was twice as big as normal one day? Crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You think we guys were alcoholics that lived here? No, I think they are wine. No, 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 we're, we're not done yet. Are, are we? Are we not done? 
<laughs> oh my god. Is that where they sleep? <laughs> Sorry, not in there. <laughs> James is bored. What the fuck? Wait, we're not done yet. Oh my Oh my god. Uh, okay, Are you allowed to help them? <laughs> Bro, he keeps he's asking me the question. He's like, yeah, what uh, would you like do? Uh, when when you mention her foot, she thinks you're crazy. <laughs> you're the only one who acknowledges it. What do you do? do more more surface area to suck. Whoa! <laughs> For the foot? Yep. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think, going back a couple minutes, what would my power be? See, because I, I I don't want to do the cop-out answer of, like, the power to have all powers. Like, yeah, I like, think teleportation would be pretty cool. That's true. I think teleportation is, like, a better version of flying. Yeah, because I could just teleport everywhere. See, but my thing is, let's say you're teleporting in the air, right? Do you okay. keep momentum when you teleport? Uh, I would assume... Like, if I was... Let's say I was falling out of a building, right? Okay. And I'm and just before I hit the ground, I like teleport like an inch up. Do I live? Uh, I'd say yeah. Oh okay okay. In that case, it's good. I'd say it's it's like just like completely resetting your coordinates basically. Okay, so like you don't you don't you don't keep momentum because that's important. Yeah. Cause you because you could use teleportation depending on like if there's a cooldown or whatever. You could use teleportation to fly. Yes. But if you that's kept, part of why I would choose it. But if you kept momentum. You could then only no. do that once. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I mean, any power. Like, like my brain is like, oh, like shape shifting or like flight or I don't know. I definitely super speed is one of the ones I definitely wouldn't choose. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to be really fast. Um. Man, I'm trying to think of like. Like, uh, I don't want to be Dr. Manhattan. Like, the power to shape reality however I want. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's, like, a cop-out answer. An uh, another one that would be good is just uh, the power. Or I guess it would technically, I guess, kind of go with what you just said. Mm -hmm. Just the power to change probability at will. Oh, I, I actually, I think I've seen that. Yeah, what, like, what's, what, what's, what's the, the probability I find it $200 on the sidewalk in five minutes? 100%. What if you make it 100% but then you don't go outside? <laughs> Do you create a paradox? I'd probably be so... If I had that power, I'd be so scared of paradoxes, I don't think I'd ever make anything 100%. You know what? <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> oh, my ears! <laughs> we haven't done this in a hot minute. Nope. Alright, um... You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna ask ChatGPT for a bunch of superpowers and we're gonna. Alright. Alright, um. Alright, new chat. Give me a huge list. G give me a huge dick. Of mediocre super. Uh, superpowers. The, w the, the, the power to instantly fry chicken. That don't really help much are maybe a little funny or just stupid or inconvenient for either us or people around us. Alright, here we go. I'll, I'll list a couple. Jesus Christ. I right, maybe I should have said huge... <laughs> Can I read you only the last one? Sure. The ability to levitate one inch off the ground, but only while shouting. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> that would be so odd, dude. That'd be a great party trick. Yeah. Hey guys, you see something cool? What? Whee! <laughs> That's a really funny one. All right, I'm gonna read. Um, do you want me to read all of these? Sure. How many did it give you? Twenty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, so you got the ability to 
change a TV channel using only your mind, but only when the remote is already within arm's reach. <laughs> I mean, that's still nice. Your hands can be occupied. Ah, shit, where's the remote? I changed the channel. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, it's, well, it's Yeah, it's, uh, it's around here. So, Hello? Oh. Venus? What? Okay, I think we're good. Okay. It went fucky for like two seconds. Oh. Uh, the power to make plants grow slightly faster, only when you're not looking at them. <laughs> so, not this one. Uh, invisibility, but only when no one is looking directly at you. Which is stupid. Uh, the ability to communicate with ants, but they never listen to you. <laughs> do they have to be willingly looking at you? What do you mean? For the invisibility? Yeah. Is it, it, it says when no one is looking directly at you. Okay, so it's not willing. Just as long as they are look, yeah, looking. Yeah, like if you were invisible and then I did, and then I did this, you, I I would assume you would be visible. Okay, that is a very important distinction to make. <laughs> yeah, like because if you're already invisible, then you, they can't look at you. Well, I mean, like, because it's like you know, like if you know I'm sitting right here, you look at me, I'll be visible. Yeah, what? If but you it's like, like if I'm invisible and I go into like say a bank. <laughs> It's like no one would willfully know I'm there. Yeah, no, so they, they would know someone's there, but they don't know it's you. <laughs> they're not looking at you; they're looking at someone. <laughs> Did they see you? Yeah. So that'd be like like if someone happens like their eyes happen to cross directly where I am. Yeah, but they they're not looking at you. Like they're not looking for you. I don't yeah. know. So would that make me visible or not? Well, see, why would you choose that when you could have the power to refill any empty container with lukewarm water? Shit. The ability to detect nearby pigeons within five meters. <laughs> well, that is nearby. Superhuman hearing, but only for whispers in a language you don't understand. Ability to summon a small, polite breeze at will. And then I finally see maybe the first power I would choose on this list. Power to change the color of traffic lights by sneezing. I... Traffic would be... I'm just making myself sneeze. Ability to now, see, dude, you could just troll everyone. You just walk to an intersection, sneeze, make it red, yeah, and I never. From, can I make it from green to red? That's what I want to know. Like, yeah. No yellow. And then, <laughs> the millisecond it turns green, you turn it back to red. <laughs> um, that <laughs> okay. Ability to always find the second to last item you're looking for. Power to heat up leftover pizza using only your thoughts, but it takes 30 minutes. <laughs> what about the ability to make your hair grow one centimeter per hour at will? The power to instantly untangle any shoelace. <laughs> ability to make a door slightly squeakier. <laughs> power to change the flavor of any food slightly, but you don't choose. Wait, what's it do? So you can change the flavor of any food uh. slightly, but you don't you don't choose how it changes. Uh, ability to perfectly mimic the sound of a kazoo. The power to remember everyone's middle name, but only if they're over seventy. <laughs> the ability to summon a single paperclip per day. That could be useful. <laughs> Power to always find, be able to find a parking spot, but only in illegal parking spots. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell it to give me more. But I'm oh yeah, James, ones. there's even more behind the couch. Jesus. <laughs> you can't have those. <laughs> no. Would you like the power to see if it's someone's? The power to instantly see if someone's recently eaten a sandwich. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> see, these are stupid. Uh, <laughs> power to predict the next word in a sentence with 20% accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that already. Yeah, I, was to say, I just do that. That's just a real thing. The power to make someone yawn by yawning yourself. Yeah. How would you summon a pigeon that always lands on your shoulder? That's a cool one. <laughs> the ability to change the color of your urine at will. <laughs> uh. 
Why? I can make my fingernails one millimeter longer once a day. I would choose, there's one, uh, a rubber duck squeak. You could just do that. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> the ability to make your socks perpetually slightly damp. <laughs> this is, these are so fucking stupid. Ability to, bro, you know what? I'm choosing the ability to mimic the sound of a dripping faucet. That was funny. No. Okay. I, I I found the one I would choose. Power to make your shoes always squeak slightly when walking. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, there's 1% dirt somewhere and it's annoying me. <laughs> Where's the dirt? Where's the leak, man? <laughs> Maybe it's under the couch. So you should sell their couch. <laughs> Can you do that? Like, do you get a... <laughs> Who do you think I am? Oh, it actually doesn't let you. Oh, I was I was wrong apparently. <laughs> I like how they can let you move everything all around. Who do you think I am? I'll rearrange the furniture, sure. I won't sell it, but I'll rearrange. Fucking couch on the roof. <laughs> Wait, turn it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Honey, where's our TV? <laughs> I can't find it anymore. <laughs> Where's the dirt? Like, what would you do in this situation? Like, you saw how fucking shitty their house was, right? What would you do if you paid someone to clean your house and it looks like this good, but they just, like, <laughs> move your furniture as inconveniently as possible? I take it. I, I, I really, with how bad this house was, I really would take it. Look at that window again, but look south of it. Look down. I thought I saw dirt. No, you just saw a missing radiator. <laughs> Do they? Oh, you, they do need radiators. I made her. Take me to Radiator Sprouts. I'll just yeah, I'll just lightning. I want you. <laughs> I hate the feeling of my skin on my body. Don't you hate the feeling of your, your skin, skin on, on your, your body? body? Just, just take, take it off. off. Just take off I'm your skin. skin. <laughs> I want you. I want you. <laughs> Maybe a bad time to tell you, but you owe me thirty thousand dollars in legal fees. Just run their water. It didn't uh, even do anything. Your total bill is a thousand dollars plus your five thousand dollar water bill. Hell yeah! I do not see this. Do you actually really need to get this one percent? I want a hundred percent all of my jobs. <laughs> That's my response. Oh, you? Oh, you didn't get it. Oh, you got it. I got it. Yay, I won't kill myself tonight. <laughs> oh. I'll see Jimmy's mom again. Jimmy's mom. Mom has prevented my untimely death by suicide. <laughs> <laughs> by suicide. Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> Take your shotgun! Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. I don't know, man. You're scaring me. <laughs> yeah, things just get very hard. What? I can't shake it anymore. Oh, they, they shot my fucking lava, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's mom won't suck up my balls. Oh, it's all I want. Jimmy's mom is going on. She's a reason I took my own life. <laughs> Jimmy's, Jimmy's mom, I've come to you with a proposition. Inside of this backpack, I have 10 pounds of C4. And the only <laughs> the only The only way you live is kissing my little lava. What do you do? <laughs> So I don't know if you to pose it like a hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> We're too deep. 
What do you do? <laughs> in this hypothetical situation where I blow you up and fucking kill you, what do you do? <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> don't fucking move their light. Well, they didn't deserve that. <laughs> I had to, I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh great, having a 4% dirt. Think, think. Brain blast. Jimmy's mom has got it going on. Uh, She's all that I want, and I want her to suck me off. I got myself stuck again. <laughs> That's it. Permanent relocated lamp. Uh, now, Jimmy, I, I I remember the first time that I tried to blow your wife up. My wife up. With, it's not your wife. That's weird. Fuck you. Try to blow your wife up with C four is because it's because I she wanted. She, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> he, he couldn't do it. <laughs> he was really nervous about the C four in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> now Jimmy, he's like sweating bullets. Like I, I don't, you should maybe get new friends. <laughs> I thought you were the weird one. <laughs> Not so. I thought you were the freak of nature, Jimmy. I, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, fucking do it. <laughs> uh, that's it, Jimmy. I'm gonna pull the trigger. Uh, what the fuck does Jimmy sound like? But but an she... asshole mostly. <laughs> but. But she, I, I just sound like an old man. <laughs> oh, Carl, wait! I've shot myself with the gun that ages me three thousand years. You, you see, she. Uh, if you take the, uh, the moon, <laughs> you, take you take the, the sun. sun you fuck with me. In the head with the gun. <laughs> You fuck with me, you're gonna get the gun. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I just wanted your mom, sweet puss. <laughs> yeah, I oh, just, I found it. Yeah, I just wanted to feel the inside of her colon. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Jimmy, if you, you did, you, you like math, right? Uh, I mean, if you took the circumference of. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there, actually. I'm not going to continue. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> and then the teacher walks in. Ah, Sheen, you get, you get an F. <laughs> fucking stupid. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to tell you the joke, but you have to take it out. All right, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I promise I'll cut it out. Oh, Jimmy. Get ready for a long beep. <laughs> You are laughing way too hard. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> I was going to continue it, but I can't. <laughs> why would you why would he say that? I mean, you would too, Jimmy, you know. Stop, I have to keep beeping it. <laughs> it's just... Don't it's continue the bit. <laughs> it's a perfect width. You want to go back in, Jimmy? Yeah, it's the perfect... first. It's the perfect width to support my girth, Jimmy. Think, think, and it's just <laughs> thoughts of him fucking his own mom. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Blast. <laughs> I, I mean, Jimmy, I mean, come on, you gotta be balls deep. <laughs> nah, he's right, Jimbo. I, I think it's time to get in there. <laughs> come on, Jimbo, get back in there. Man, what an absurdly <laughs> long beep we just had. Uh, he thought, uh, you can put it in if you want. Really? <laughs> All right. Yeah, do you want to? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if that would be considered... Help! <laughs> That's so <laughs> He's fucking Jimmy's mom. <laughs> Were you not doing that on purpose? Oh, that. Oh. <laughs> All right. So crazy hypothetical. What would you do if you were a boy genius and your friend <laughs> asked you to fuck your own mom? <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, you gotta reverse for your mom, Jimmy. Reverse for your mom. Yeah. 
You got a Vora first to reverse for your mom, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, it's Vora before in this world. Anyways, join my furry chat server. <laughs> Oh my god. Jimmy, will you enjoy the Jimmy's Bob subreddit? R slash Jimmy's Bob. And you just go to us as one active member. It's <laughs> just him. <laughs> and then there's just one post that's like, I like Jimmy's Bob. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> and then the only comment is, I like her boobs a lot. <laughs> I like Jimmy. Why is he retired? I do not know. The only the only comment is what he already asked. I mean, you would too, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> like he he has this whole subreddit set up for just for Jimmy to look at in this moment. It says <laughs> you would too, wouldn't you? Nothing else. I created the time paradox, Jimmy. I invent Jimmy. You think you're the only fucking genius? I invented the time machine. I am. I, 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 I'm hooked out of feeling. I'm high on your Rob's pussy. <laughs> Anyways. Ah, uh, Patty the Platypus. <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong universe. <laughs> I don't, I don't Carl, what are you doing to Jimmy's mom? <laughs> why, why does he know Jimmy's mom? <laughs> Carl, why are you both deep in your best friend's mother? Hey, Peter. Oh, this is the clam. Oh, good lord! What are you doing to Jimmy's mom? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm ripped! What are those Neanderthals doing? <laughs> what the Sigma? <laughs> Finally, I've just I've made a time machine to get the Krabby uh, Patty secret for oh no! What the sh scallop? <laughs> I'm a goofy goober. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the scallop? What's a? I'm moving on. <laughs> What's the best what's the best voice impression you can do, you think? Uh <laughs> I just need to stop talking about Jimmy's mom's pussy. <laughs> Anything else will do. Well, you see, it happens to be Carl Weiss, <laughs> but only when he's boss team. God Jimmy's damn it. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like the Carl Weezer accent is really easy to do. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Oh boy, oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So see, you just gotta get like weird high pitched and also just you just gotta be drunk you gotta slur all your words uh, Jimmy Jimmy that was a, that was a normal apple cider was it what oh, do you Jimmy what do you mean it was laced oh, with wait. fentanyl oh wait this isn't Jimmy's bomb this is Jimmy Jimmy why are you a fanboy Jimmy uh, close enough <laughs> <laughs> any hole's good enough for me Jimmy tell you about yeah <laughs> I thought you were about to say any Homer. Hey, hey, but hey. Marge, <laughs> you're not Marge. <laughs> ah! Oh, homie, look at Carl. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Homer. Her ass is soft like dough. No. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a cinnamon by the time I'm done. Oh! I think this might be our best episode yet. <laughs> I'm going back to my universe. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry, that's the sound of him like... Hey, back. Carl! Who the hey, fuck? your pull-out game's pretty strong. Is that Goku? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's your prostate. It's pretty strong. Let me fight it. <laughs> Sup, fuckers? <laughs> Whoa! I don't like this role play anymore. <laughs> Luigi, just wait the one a second, please. No. Oh, my girl! <laughs> That's about the biggest number bomb I've ever seen! <laughs> oh, I thought he was stuttering. 
Slap the biggest, but I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna give you a big fucking ball sack I've ever seen. I can't say that. What were you about to say? Absolutely cut this out. Absolutely, please cut this out. But I was trying to introduce Hank Hill into it. I was going to go. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, um. To everyone listening still, sorry. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, that's a really good question, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, yeah, I'd say I'd do a pretty good plankton. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the answer to my question. Uh, yeah, I could do like. The Mario 64 sound effects. Oof. Oof. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Oof. I can't fucking. Yeah! Yippee! <laughs> I sound like the fucking autism creature. <laughs> Cut this out too. My favorite line from Mario 64. Love, love the spin sound effect that you did. Of course. It's a shame we can't use any of that. Nope. <laughs> so, that just... Don't do it again. <laughs> Please! Yeah, that's basically what they fucking heard. What if I... <laughs> Never mind. It's fucking... No, that's not usable at all. <laughs> oh, my God. And so long to any sponsors we're ever going to have. <laughs> As if we're we're ever gonna have any to begin with. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, anyways, uh buy Manscaped. No. <laughs> yeah, I use Manscaped, so I'm all good for Jimmy's bra. God damn it, Carl <laughs> Lee! <laughs> I'm tired yeah! of, I'm tired of your bullshit, Carl. <laughs> I think I'll just make the music progressively louder in the episode uh, so they don't have to hear us. I like... <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Block the door no one can get out. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, you ready? Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> ready? Am I, am I still being ready? No, uh, like when I do it at home, it makes the water spurt out. Oh, does it really? Yeah. Why is it not doing that here? Maybe it's because this is a different, like, fancy sink or something. Welcome, you now have futuristic <laughs> toe depth. I'd be, I'd be so mad. I thought you said futuristic toe depth. What the? What, what would that even be? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, son, you got futuristic toe depth. Sorry, just the nod. I don't know what the fuck to say to that either. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, you're the one who said it. <laughs> well, I, I posed the question to you to hey, believe uh, myself uh, of answering. Uh, <laughs> anyone have a response for that? Yeah, I do. All right, never mind. I actually <laughs> don't want an answer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's bra. Guess we did this one. Carl, I'm, I'm literally just, I'm just going to hang you. You have to clean dirt in the hallway. It's along that wall. Oh, it's along the ceiling. <laughs> really? Yeah. Cl I thought this had closed the window. Why, why is it yellow? Yellow. I, I pissed on it. I have an announcement to make. Carl Weezer pissed on my fucking mom. Damn right I did. <laughs> What the fuck does Jimmy sound like? I still like, uh, Sheen. Oh, uh, well, Carl, you see? <laughs> what? Well, Carl, you see? Come on, come on down. To the to the Paradise City. Where the grass is green, you suck my mom's titty. Alright, hold on. I, I, I know what he sounds like. I just don't know how to describe it. Uh, what's the rise and fall of, no. Jim of, of Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jimmy Neutron clips. All right, here we go. All right, the f the best of Jimmy Neutron. Donut Boy is the movie called The Avengers of Donut. Oh, I'm just kidding. I hate you. I hate you, kid. Donut. Eat donuts. Donut Boy. Is this whole video about Donut Boy? No way. Wait, does does he speak there? I want you to know this video that's the best of Jimmy Neutron. It takes two minutes and ten seconds for Jimmy to even appear. Well, I think because it's, it's talking about just the show. Jesus, Gouda, Boy, more time for me drum solo. What's wrong with his throat? No way! Uh, Next has a few minutes. That's another good question. You see, it all has to do... Goodbye, Boo! I'll see you next year! Hold on. Yeah, th that's another good. Yeah, I can't fucking do that voice. That's another good question. How long did it take for me to forget about my mom? Thanks to Carl. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> oh my god. My head hurts thinking about Carl Weezer now. Oh, I thought I knocked my fucking drink over. My my drinkant, I should say, since it doesn't have anything in it. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> it's been a bagger of an episode. I would not call it that. Yeah, it's a bagger. <laughs> so God mine. damn it! <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Alright, hold on. Uh, Are you Googling what happens if no. <laughs> Carl Weezer fucks my mom? I'm actually not Googling that, if you can believe it. I can't. That's what it sounds like when he's doing it. <laughs> uh, alright. Ready? Alright, here comes, here comes a great topic. Alright, um... So, what do you think makes a game good or bad? Just like in general? Yeah. This is terrible. What is? I, I Google. I literally, I literally Googled to give me, <laughs> give me something to talk about to distract myself from other topics <laughs> while recording a YouTube video. <laughs> Why did the music get so much louder? <laughs> I don't know. It, like, it, it definitely did, right? Oh, dude, we can talk about our gamer life. <laughs> Bro, what's one quirk you have now that you're an epic gamer? Giant balls. It's actually true. The more hours a day you play a game, the bigger your balls get. It's, it's a weird... It's No one talks about it, and I think... Honestly, I think we need to open up about it a little bit. Yeah. Dude, they're just like spilling out of my shorts. All right, put a picture of Ryan's balls up on screen. Yep. Look at them. Wow. And uh, compare them to Carl Weezer. There's his. <laughs> Great. Anyways, that's enough couch potatoes forever. <laughs> um, so, welcome to the last video. <laughs> welcome, like a fucking hour in. I, don't, I have no idea how long this video is. I... <laughs> A long time. I I did not pay any attention. Suck my balls. Carl, get away from my mom. There's a... Now we get to go back to our humble home and hopefully Carl Weezer isn't there. <laughs> Surprise! I'm moving in with Jimmy's mom! <laughs> so I got really excited. A mole has dug its way into the lot. And the malicious mole will create new ones if you don't find it. <laughs> they had to call him a malicious mole. Well, oh, Jesus! He got the work! Do you have a shovel? Oh. I'm just gonna kill him. You. Oh, I like how he shoves it into the ground for a second. 
Oh, I found a killer. Why is that? How big a mullet? <laughs> what? <laughs> Goodbye, Jimmy. <laughs> Just fucking <laughs> <laughs> next, next time I can't <laughs> <laughs>